Hi everyone, this is a tutorial brought to you by brightech.co.uk and in this tutorial we're going to be making some studio uh, backgrounds for your photos. So if you're looking for portrait uh, backgrounds this is the place to be because we're going to be making a, uh, a portrait background where you can change the colour uh, for any type of photo. So this is a photograph of Obama which I've already cropped out ready so I'm just going to drop him down there for a little bit later on in the tutorial we're going to be using him so let's get started first off we need to go new file new and I'm going to just call this something studio BK how do you want width of 8 height of 10 resolution of 72 and a in this section called background color and click OK. Now once we've got that done we need to let's just move that up a bit so you can see. Okay, move that down like so. Right next we want to fill this up with black. So make sure your swatch is set to default. If they're not push D on your keyboard. And I'll go back to the default. So now we need to go edit, fill foreground colour, which is our black. Click OK. Now we need to go to um, create a new layer down the bottom. And I want you to go filter, render, clouds. I want you to set this so you've got a nice little background like that with clouds on it. Now you can push your control F key to go through if you've not got a nice background that doesn't look right until you get something that you like. I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to leave it as it is. So the next thing we need to do is drop the opacity down on this to around about, oops, around about 40, about 43 or something like that. And now we need to merge these layers together. So we just go to right click on there and merge visible, and that's fine. Next, I want to add another filter to this. So we need to go filter, brush strokes, and spatter. Now you're going to get this box come up, and I want you to spray radius 10. Smooth this five, and it's got to be on the spatter. And click OK. From there, I want you to go to Edit, Fade Spatter, and drop the opacity down on there to about 50%. And click OK. I want you to go into Filter again, Brush Strokes, Spray Strokes now, and for these settings, I want you to put in spray, set, spray strokes, stroke length 12, spray radius 7, and stroke direction right diagonal, and click OK. From there, I want you to go to Edit, Fade, Spray Strokes, and drop the opacity down again to about 50%. Click OK. And that's pretty much our background, what we've got so far. And we'll add a bit of a, a colour tinge to that. Now, this is the interesting bit. We can go to hue and saturation, like so, put in colour on this, and with that selected, we've now got a bit of colour in our uh, background. So we now can use this hue top one here to get the colour that we're looking for. So I'm looking for a brownie sort of colour. So something like that. that I'm looking for. But if you're looking for a blue or something like that, you just move it about to suit what you're looking for for your photo. Look at the skin tones and the clothes they're wearing and try and fit the background in to suit that photo. So once you've got that done, I'm going to click OK. 
now I want to change the resolution to 300 so I want to go image image size and I want to drop this document size down to inches so we've got 8 width 10 height and resolution is 72 which we set to but now I want to set to 300 and I want to make sure the ticks are in on these boxes down here and by cubic I want to make sure it's by cubic smoother if you haven't got that in there then just leave it on by cubic and click OK and now we need to just reduce that down in size so you can see what's going on and here's our background, our finished background and I think that looks like a, any good studio background that you can purchase off the internet somewhere and that's going to do you good for all your photographs or old photographs and just copy them in there and change the colours to suit the photograph so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick a palmer in there and see how that looks just to give you an idea so we're going to grab hold of a palmer, drop him in move these boxes out of the way so you can see and uh, push the shift key so we don't lose shape move him over and there he is now we could use the full screen if you want to but just put him up like so click on the tick at the top here to approve it and that's pretty much it so now I think you agree by looking at that you'd think that was taken in a studio and that was the, the backdrop of that studio so I hope you have some fun with this tutorial and have a little go yourself and make some different variations of your own I uh, hope you enjoyed this I'll see you soon bye for now